This is the Blackout Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Blackout Podcast where I get to talk to amazing people that do amazing things and today I have Letitia on the podcast. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. So, uh, why, how did you even get into painting? Um, at NASCAD. Na- um, yeah, I, I started drawing before um, and then when I entered NASCAD, I wanted to use color. So then I, um, yeah, I started painting. Um, what what things did you like drawing? Family. I worked a lot with like old family photos and um, yeah, I just used to just like copy them, just draw them, or just on a bigger scale. And um, was this at NASCAD or? Uh, it started at NASCAD. Yeah, this was okay. my last semester. Here's the thing, though. I I, I think I spoke with someone, and you kind of have to submit a body of work to get into NASCAD, right? Uh yeah. And and what did you? How was it? How did your own process go getting into NASCAD? Um. So. I had a family friend, um, David Woods. He's actually like a local artist, um, as well as like a yeah, a lot of a lot of things. But yeah, so he he approached me and and um, you know said that they were looking for um, people to um, they were trying to get more like black people, I guess, into NASCAD. And so yeah, he you know um, linked me up with someone that worked there. And, um, yeah, he just worked with us, and it was me, my cousin, Kyrell Frazier, and um, Othel Downey. They're both um, artists, and Kyrell's in his last semester right now. But, yeah, so we worked with him, and he just kind of, like, taught us everything. And then, um, yeah, and then we had to submit everything, and, yeah. I didn't really have a body of work. I just, yeah, I just <laughs> used whatever I had. What What did you have by then? I just had um, some large photos that I did of, like, family members. And then um, I guess it wasn't enough, so then I started doing, like, a bit more. Mm. Yeah, just some sketches. And then uh, how long ago was this? Uh, I think that was 2013. Okay. So ago. And then you got into NASCAR when? That, that was when. That, yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, and how you were in NASCAR for how long? I just graduated. Yeah, in and I know you said you kind of got in. Um, David Woods was saying mm-hmm. there wanted more black people yeah. in, at NASCAD. And when you were there, how many pe- black people were in your. <laughs> <laughs> it was like in the, in the first year, there weren't that. No, it was just like us three. It was literally just us. That Holy were, smokes. Yeah, in that, in that um, first year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And by the time you left, were there more black people there not really no i saw a bit more but god damn it yeah so what is is it that black people don't like going to art school <laughs> or or what what would you say is the reason for that i don't know yeah i don't i don't really know maybe they don't because i i've always wanted to go to nascad when i was younger but i just felt like maybe i couldn't get in so maybe why not yeah i don't know i just I just felt like it was, you know, NASCAR was like up here. Oh. And I just felt like I couldn't, I, maybe I just didn't have the skills to get in. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And then you did your drawing, submitted it, got in. Mm-hmm. When did the transformation happen for paint, uh, into painting? Uh, that was my second year. What What made you decide? What made me? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to work with color. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I didn't want to use color pencils or anything like that. So I figured I might as while I'm here. I might as well learn how to paint, yeah. What's the process of learning, right? I, I mean, I have people that say, oh, you know, you can learn it. Like, can you really learn how to... Yeah, it, I think it just depends on... Is how... it oil or... Yeah, this is an oil. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a friend that paints with oil, and it's a pretty tedious process. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not too bad, but I think, the, for me, the biggest problem is, like, the fumes. Like mm. the, Yeah, it's that's... Pretty, and you have to have like a studio that can properly ventilate all that stuff. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. God damn it. And then and then it has to dry, right? Cause... Yeah. And it takes a long time to dry. Like acrylic paint will dry really fast, maybe within a few hours or so. Mm. But oil will take years, you know, for it to fully dry. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um and how old is this painting now? I started it 
2018, and then I finished it at the beginning of this year. Oh, wow. Yeah. And who is she? It's my sister, Adina. Wait, first off, what's that pattern? Do you, are those, the pattern on the background, what's that? Like, is that also painting or? No, it's, it's, um, used fabric. Um, and I sewed it together, um, just to kind of connect my grandmother and, um, what she would have done to provide for her kids with her quilts and everything. So I wanted to tie that into my work and just keep that tradition going, I guess, in my own way. Mm. Yeah. Family is important to you. Very, yeah. Uh, Why? Um, there's, they're everything. Um, we're always there for each other and um, we show up for each other. I think this world can be pretty crazy and to have, um, yeah, the amount of family that I have and the amount of love that we have for each other is is really special. Mm. Yeah. Wow. I remember seeing this and thinking, holy socks. How much work <laughs> goes into doing something like this? Uh, in what way, like the process? Just from yeah, the process exactly. Yeah. So w what it, what does it start with? Well, it started for this painting. It started with the what well, the idea, and I had to pick the photos that I wanted, and then um, then the then the quilt. I had to work on the quilt. I'm new to quilting, so um, I didn't really know what I was doing, and I had my mother help me mm. with um, one of them. But yeah, so then I sewed the quilt together, and then. Um, yeah. Just, uh, Is there any reason why on. you chose a different parts in front of the quilt? Yeah, because the, so the quilts that my, especially like her older ones, the quilts that my grandmother used to make, they mm. didn't really make, they didn't really look like today's quilts because she would have been using clothes and just used clothes, like anything that she had. Um, I went to my um, aunt's house and she just like for an interview and um, she was bringing out a lot of like my grandmother's first quilts mm -hmm. and I could just look through the whole thing and you could see her hand in it. But then you could also see like my aunt's showing me like, oh, this is our, you know, your grandfather's shirt and this is your oh. grandmother. And these were the little dresses that we, you know, wow. and so, yeah. Wow. So um, I just kind of wanted to, I guess, do that in my own way. Okay. So you get the quilt together mm -hmm. and then what? Um, and then I stretch it onto, um, I stretch it onto the, uh, stretcher <laughs> and then, um, yeah. And then I draw, um, onto it. Oh wait, but it's not white, right? And how do you, like, cause I'm used to most of these things being white. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of easy to draw on. Yeah. How, how was it working on this one? Cause it's like bluish, right? <laughs> it's kind of blue. Yeah. Okay. How was it yeah, um, it's it's hard. It's hard, especially like with like her face and other paintings that I did in a similar style. Like I have to keep layering certain patches because the color will so show through. Oh, wow. um, yeah, so it's just like a a process. But I I guess I like a, a bit of a challenge in that way. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. So um, and how does she feel about it? Your sister, right? <laughs> she likes it. She wants a, a newer, like an up to date one. What the. <laughs> <laughs> How old was she? Eh? I think four. So yeah. what, she's just like what a year or so older now. No, no, oh. she's she's sixteen now. Oh, so this was just an old photo of yeah. her. So she wants a sixteen. Hmm. Yeah. Are you gonna make one? Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do it for her. <laughs> and what's her name? Adina. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. I really like. You know what? I think the how much work went into the eyes. Uh, I guess the same amount as like her skin, all the yeah, it's kind of the same. It's super detailed. Yeah, eyes can be really tricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, how was Nascar? Um, it was it was good. Um, yeah, I think I enjoyed my experience there. I learned a lot. Um. I came out of there a different person. In what way? So, so I think, well, I didn't know what I was doing before. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm. Um, so for for a few years, I just was kind of wandering around, not really knowing what it is that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, then then eventually I just was like, you know, I have to, I have to figure out what I'm doing because once I leave <laughs> here, like, kind of, yeah, like I don't know what I'm. Yeah, so I I had an instructor. She. Um, she introduced me to these uh, African American um, artists, and that was a huge inspiration. Mm. Um, and what are some of the artists she introduced you to? So um, I don't want to say her name wrong, but Injudeka Akinili Crosby was one, and I we did like this um, 
assignment where it's kind of like you, uh, it's like a mentor me type of assignment where you just look at their work and then you mimic it in a sense, mm. just to get like a feel of how they did what they did. Mm -hmm. And um, I chose her just because she worked with family photos as well. Uh, she did a lot of collage and um, a lot of portraiture. So um, that was the reason why I chose her and I was really influenced by her work. And then um, uh, Kehinde Wiley. He did. Mm. Um, he's most known for the portrait, the Obama portrait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But his portraits are mm. different. Yeah, <laughs> they're beautiful. Yeah. Oh God, damn. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um, and then did you um, when you uh, so you in what for f how many years were you in Alaska? I think I was in there for like six because I took like a break, but it's a four year program. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Why did you take the breaks? Um, for like. <laughs> Uh, financial reasons one but then also just like in the beginning it was like mental health reasons so i was like i gotta take a break <laughs> but yeah uh, well like was that something that happened before school or school i think it was a mixture of both but uh, school was definitely bringing something out that i was just like i need to take a break does yeah. <clears throat> how does your art tie into dealing with mental health not not really um it doesn't really tie in at all um does it yeah. help you in any way yeah I, i'd say so um yeah i would say okay yeah it's a bit therapeutic yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i can't imagine what are you currently working on now um so i have uh like a series that i want to do in the future um but still working with community still working with portraiture Hmm. For the most part, yeah. What will the series be? Uh, do you have a name for the series? No. Oh, okay. okay Not okay. yet. <laughs> <laughs> when do you think you'll be starting that series? Uh, maybe, maybe next year. Maybe oh, okay. I'll try, yeah. Do you do you like do you still draw? Uh, not as much now. Oh, okay. Yeah. How do you feel your time? Like, how do you do you have do you practice in any way? Yeah. Well, I try to. I try to. Um, there's still a lot that I have to learn and there's still some things that I don't know. Like, um, I've never really like landscapes and stuff. That's not what I do. And I've never really practiced this. I've done this forever. You know, portraiture is what I've always done for over 10 years. So, mm. um, yeah, I think I'm starting to like practice and get into more like landscape stuff. And isn't this one more yeah. difficult? I'm guessing. I don't know anything. People about... say that. Yeah. But like I said, I, because I've been doing it so long, it's, it's not that mm -hmm. difficult. It's also enjoyable when, you know, you're doing something you don't really enjoy, like landscapes. I just don't, <laughs> I don't get, I just don't get that much out of it as I do with faces. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, but yeah, I still want to learn how to do a lot of things. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, huh, I guess, oh yeah, actually, <clears throat> so have you shown any of your work, right? Mm -hmm. Where, where the police, some of the places you've shown your work? Well, at the gallery, um, the Anna Lee Owens Gallery, um, that was my first show. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And then, um, well, my first solo show, I should say. I've done, like, group shows before with yeah. uh, David Woods. Um, and then I, after the, after the, uh, after the Anna, then um, David um, asked me to be in a show with, um, like, some other quilters, some local quilters, which was really cool because it just tied everything together. Mm. Yeah, and that was at the, um, the archives, public archives. Uh, did this go up on our show? This painting? Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. D wait, so you have another painting that's kind of based like, where the canvas is quilt? Yeah. Oh, Lord. I have a few more. I have, like, a couple more. So, you're actually doing work before you actually start work, because making the quilt is mm -hmm. work itself. I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even really imagine myself. Um, then, do you find that, I mean, growing up and not seeing people of your color, of your, being, doing this thing you love, how was that for you? Um, well, I actually did have people, there were, obviously there's not that many, but, um, but I, like I said, you know, I've known David Woods for my whole life he's mm -hmm. been in my family forever my uncle um alexander frazier he was a painter as well so i grew up with that and then my mom um she is an artist as well and she worked a lot with crafts and yeah i think just because of her job she worked in recreation so works in recreation so there's a lot of like crafts and stuff she put me in a lot of mm. yeah classes and do you feel now that you've been through nascad 
have shown some work uh, that the kids, little kids, girls, boys, uh, African or Scotian or black kids are looking up to you and your work and aspiring to be like you. How does it feel kind of that circle? Um, feels feels pretty cool. Um, yeah. Hopefully I inspire like more. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. That'd be really cool. I know, because I was, actually I was thinking about this, right? We art, <clears throat> especially, like, you know, not just art, just when you're creating stuff, it helps when you love what you're creating, right? Yeah. Because there's a lot of work mm -hmm. to create in the first place. But like, do you ever find yourself in a situation where, say, someone gave you... Do you do commissions first? Let me answer. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Say someone gave you a commission and it's it's okay, but it's not something you're super passionate about. How do you handle things like that? Um, I mean, I think I just let them know, like, this is kind of what I do. So, and I wouldn't want to make something that's crappy. So if you, <laughs> ask, if you ask me to, I don't know, paint a building and that's not what I do, yeah. then I can actually refer you to someone that actually does that. And mm -hmm. yeah, instead of me trying to do it myself. How do you get into commission work? Sorry? How do you get into commission work? Like gain commissions? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you remember your very first one? Um, no. Oh, okay. No. Last one then. What was the last commission you did? Right, right now. Oh, you're working on something now. Yeah, I, it's just like a bunch of um, it's like a floral piece, like just for it's like decoration. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, when would that one be ready? Uh soon. I'm, yeah, trying to get that done. Are there colors as you really like working with? Uh, bright bright colors. I guess it's not really like a a specific color that I like to use. Why bright colors? Um, I think. Maybe just growing up, um, you know, I feel like, <laughs> how can I say this? So, like, I grew up in, in Halifax, but my entire maternal side of my family is from North Preston, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so, like, church, they would be, you know, dressing in a lot of bright colors, and I think, I don't know, I just really, yeah, I think just off of black skin, too, um, I love, I love that, so I think that's why. And you do a lot of black color. Have you ever... Do you have any self-portrait? Yeah, it's from school, but... <laughs> <laughs> because I know going through your... Actually, first, uh, your Instagram name is super interesting. Okay. Well, what's it? New Scotland Black. Exactly. Yeah. Well, how did you come up with that? <laughs> um, Just because my work is really, like, African Nova Scotian based. So, mm. uh, yeah... So yeah, I like it. it's like a, it's like a label, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I, I and I know going through your um, Instagram, thinking there's no painting of you because if I no. could paint, I'd paint myself all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, at NASCAD you do that all the time, so uh, you end up being sick of it. After. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, wait, what's the process of that? Is it still based on a picture or? No, so we were taught, uh, like, f using a mirror. Holy shit. Yeah, so we used, like, a mirror for that. And then, uh, but then you could also use a photo if you wanted. Which one is more, which one is more difficult? The mirror, Yeah, I would why say. did they make it? Well, I guess, you know, then you, it's, if you do a photo, if you start with the mirror, when you go to the photo, it's way easier. Yeah, I think it's more of, like, the traditional way, too. Holy yeah, shit. and then having someone, like, sit for you, obviously, that's more traditional as well. Oh. Uh, yeah. Damn it. Wait. You know what? I've heard this about people that paint a lot that you know people sit down. So when, uh, how long does that process? Uh, do, is that for the entire painting, or when they're just drawing, or what? Um, like say I say, oh, paint me. How long will I have to sit down for? A long time. For me, it would take a long time. Holy shit! Like yeah, how long? Probably maybe a few sessions. Like maybe you sit there for like I don't know, I don't know, eight hours or something like that. Obviously not the whole time, but. And then, <laughs> Yeah, but I like to like get things right. I I take pride in getting people's faces right, so mm. I would probably have someone sit, and it would just be like the drawing part first. And then. what do you think of abstract painting? Um, I don't mind it. It's just not. For, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just not for me. It's just not your thing. Yeah. What is it about faces that you like? I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. I've been trying to figure that out myself, but mm. I don't know. But just getting faces right and painting faces is just. Uh, I think also too, like you can tell a lot by people's faces. Mm. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of um, 
I don't know, someone can tell you something, but then their body language or their face completely tells you something different. Do you think because of what it's about working with portrait a lot, you actually get to see more of that than the average people does? What but, do you mean? Like, so because you work a lot with faces, mm -hmm. would you say that you get to see, you find it easier reading someone that, say, someone like me that doesn't do that? <laughs> I don't know. Well, because I'm thinking, I mean, if you look at faces pretty much, you can kind of tell things over time. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking also, well, I might be wrong here, yeah, but <laughs> like, I mean, I'm looking at this photo and if, if I saw the actual photo, I'd be able to tell. Because, you know, it's difficult when someone sends a painting of a person and mm. you're not sure if that is a person, you know. I mean, I understand it's like <laughs> art and you can interpret it however you want to, but... I just don't like when someone says that's a self-portrait or a portrait of X, Y, Z, yeah. and you can't tell if that's a person. Okay. Yeah. So when <laughs> I remember seeing this, I'm like, holy smokes, that could be. Okay. Like, and I was like asking that the real yeah, person yeah. in the first place. Yeah. And what I'm noticing is all the, like, the shadows. That's so much work. Mm. <laughs> uh, so there's a thing in the city called... Um, paint night i don't know if you know oh the, yeah 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 anyway i've been to a few <laughs> okay I, i'm never putting anything i've done up it's like you know they make like the person in front says do this and do this and then yeah. you try it and it's not easy okay like, like would you say the work you do now how much better would you say your work is now than when like from five years ago um a lot better i didn't really know like painting wise i didn't know what I was doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, um, yeah, there's a lot that I've been able to learn, but I'm still really new. Like, I can look at this now myself and see, um, like, mistakes and stuff that I feel like I need to work on, so. Holy shit. Yeah. I wonder where that is. I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, you're just one of those people that's super hard on yourself. Yeah, I, I am, yeah. <laughs> I am. But, you know, what? people like that, people like yourself are always high achiever so oh me i'm just okay you know i'm <laughs> average i'm good is it fine enough yeah good to go <laughs> um what advice would you have for a kid out there that wants to say go to nascar or take painting um i don't know i would just say do, like do it um maybe don't be like me and be scared or maybe feel like you can't that was, yeah, that was my thing. I probably would have gone there a lot earlier mm. um, if that was the case. But, um, but yeah. And then think doing, doing what makes you happy too. Mm. Um, because I, in the beginning, I didn't know what I was, what I was doing or what I was going to do. I think I was looking for someone to tell me or for the teachers to be like, this is what's popping right now. Do that. Mm. But then I just was like, no, I'm just going to do what makes me happy and, and what I feel like is important. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. How long did it take you to get to that place? Uh, a few years, I'll say, because I, like I said, I left and then I came back, mm -hmm. and then when I came back, that's when that oh, whole okay. transition. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I guess you know what? There are people that sometimes if they stop doing something, they feel bad about it, or they feel really down with themselves, disappointed. But I think you know. It isn't about like starting or stopping or whatever. It's about that you keep doing it, right? You know, whether you get to where you want to or you pass it or not, whatever. As long as you keep doing it, mm -hmm. keep doing it, you get better at it. Yeah. And even if the change is that small, yeah, it's better than it was two months ago, four months ago, five years ago. <laughs> exactly. As long as you keep doing it. Yeah. Sure. Um. So, do what do people say about your hair? My hair. Yeah. Um. Just like the general. General. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get a lot of compliments on it. Mm. Yeah. Do people try to touch it and how do you feel about that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I me and my cousin, so she has like a curlier hair and she calls it the claw. People get the claw. <laughs> <laughs> and I call it this claw. It takes the claw. I get that. Can I, can I? Yeah. Um, I, in the beginning, I didn't mind, but then... After a while, I think maybe someone's expression when they did touch it, then I was just kind of like, I don't like that anymore. And I don't really, I'm not like a fan expression. of it. It was just kind of like, I don't know. It was just them, like, it was like why they, to me, it was like, why do you want to touch it so bad? Like, I understand that you, 
maybe it's not a familiar texture mm. but then they just were kind of like oh like they, you know i just was like okay no i'm not doing that anymore <laughs> who does it for you i do my own hair. wait what yeah okay so no 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 because no, no. i mean i have this obviously yeah <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like i can't imagine it must be a lot of how do you even know which one you're working on <laughs> like is it a, oh because you've been doing that mirror thing when you paint so. <laughs> <laughs> no you just feel back there it's fine oh, yeah God, no man but it's a lot of work <laughs> yeah it takes, and why don't you like i mean time. i'm sure you must know people that do it no when i started there was like nobody really here oh. and i didn't feel like if there was then i didn't feel like they would be experienced enough to know and i felt like if i was gonna mess my hair up i might as well just do it myself <laughs> so <laughs> yeah how long have you had it now five years oh wow yeah, yeah i'm still a baby yeah. <laughs> how, many, how many years uh like one change okay. oh, almost two i think okay yeah yeah so maybe yeah maybe hook me up and yeah, stuff. yeah yeah i got you i got you no <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay i'm gonna end it with this though uh what is your i mean i know you have this series coming mm -hmm. but how do you decide what you want to work on um i guess what uh inspires me mm -hmm. um the black communities here inspire me i found while i was at nasgad that like nobody knew that we even existed oh, here oh wow yeah i was and then just not just at nasgad but just in general like yeah. people would always ask me where am i from and i would say oh here no, but where are you from? From I would always get that, <laughs> and then I'm just like, you have no idea that there have been so many black communities here for so long, for hundreds of years. So, yeah, yeah I, I think it just, um, yeah, I took the opportunity too while I was at NASCAD just to like educate myself on myself mm. and learn more. And so I'm still not done, and I still want to work with black communities here. And and yeah, I think that was mainly the the inspiration i guess wow yeah leticia i've had a wonderful time yeah, thank thanks you. for coming and i'm gonna hold you to that hair thing <laughs> yeah, no. i got you no <laughs> thank you so much yeah thank you for having me this is the blackout podcast for listening.